Ai microfoni di R101 un nome che se lo si fa ci regala veramente delle immagini completamente diverse, in contrasto sono immagini molto nitide, si potrebbe dire che è il re del Britpop, che è la penna e la testa anche di quelli che un tempo sono stati gli Oasis, che non ha un carattere particolarmente <ride> facile, lo testeremo oggi, che è un grande fan del Manchester City e che è un grande musicista. Oggi siamo qui perché proprio in questi giorni è uscito il suo secondo EP di This is the place e un singolo che è uscito il 5 di agosto che ha fatto da apristrada a questo EP. E qui con noi ai microfoni di R101, Noel Gallagher. Hi Noel. Hello, how are you? Good, fine, thank you. <laughs> Tell me, I praised you. Oh, did well, I didn't know, I, well, <laughs> I thought as much, it kind of went on for a bit, I don't, my Italian is not what it used to be. No, but I praise you. I think that's a good way to start an interview sometimes. I think not with you. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't get a lot of praise these days, so I, I'm, I'm good with it. You spent all summer all around the world. Are mm. you tired now? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay today. I was more tired yesterday, but um, we go to Australia in November, and then that's it. We quit. We okay. will quit the music business then. Come on, let's start to speak music, something special for you, I think. <laughs> you promised us um, three EP before Christmas, uh, the second one, the new one. Um, this is the place is out now. So, um, you almost kept your promise. Why, what do you mean? Ah, I, I, I miss one, just one EP before yeah, well, Christmas, yeah, well, and you one. gave us just two. Yeah, but well, there's another one coming. I think there's one... one <laughs> Now, imminently, now, and then there's one in, like, at Christmas. Okay. Three EPs. I never, I never break a promise. Okay, so no. now I'm, I'm could, sure you I'm you quiet. You can relax now. I bet it, yeah, exactly. you can relax. <laughs> so what inspired you um, for this new job? What kind of sensations or music or imagines? What, f for, my, what for the EPs? For EPs, yes, uh, for This Is The Place. Well, I, I was... Um, i guess I was going for a sound of the music that I used to listen to when I was living in Manchester and right. going to a nightclub called Hacienda. Um, so something like that, really. So I've been um, with the EPs that have gone past and the EPs that are coming. I've kind of gone back to the music I was listening to when I was a teenager. Okay, so That's which kind of music? Well, I was, Because a you well, say I was a teenager in the 80s, so it was more, right, like, it was more right. like that, you know. Because so you said uh, um, this is the place is like, you know, a Mancunian yeah. sound, so that is exactly what you mean now. Yeah, well, there's three, there's, well, there's five tracks on the EP, there's a couple of remixes, but there's th the three main tracks. The first one sounds like, I guess, something that you could have heard in the Hacienda in 1989, if I may be so bold. And the second one, to me, sounds like the Smiths. Yeah. And the third one sounds like the Stone Roses. So that's when I was putting it together. I okay. was like, oh, wow, it sounds very manky. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, a lot of, I mean it, you know, inevitably, most people will think it doesn't sound Mancunian, but that's okay. But I think, when I think Mancunian sound, I think about your roots, your bonds with Manchester. Oh, okay. Well, I think I just think about the music that I used to listen to when I was a when I was a kid. But um, yeah, we still. I mean, I still have I still have roots there. Still, I still consider myself to be a Mancunian before anything else. Any anything else after that is up for debate. Um, and of course, the greatest football team in the world is there. Yeah. So um, I do. I, I go back there, kind of uh, when big matches are on. See me, ma'am. But is it true that you played all the instruments? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everybody tell me this. Yeah. It's great. Well, I tend to on my solo stuff anyway. Uh, and uh, I don't play the drums, but I can play the drums. But yeah. except the drums, I think everything on these EPs has been me. I buy a little bit of guitar here and okay. there. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, well, I'm very talented. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know whether you've heard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, what is rock for you now compared to the past? Is changing uh, something for you? Yeah, I don't really listen to rock music. Uh, I think rock music now has stood still a little bit. Mm? I think um, the biggest rock bands 10 years ago are still the biggest rock bands yeah. like uh, Foo Fighters and uh, all the other American stuff. Uh, The British 
rock and roll that I hear is, well, slightly mm -hmm. boring. But it's something different now for you? Inside you, well, when, yeah, when you I mean, think that something is rock, it's different compared to the past. Yeah, it's just not as good yeah. when I listen to it. But for me personally, I kind of I've been moving away from that since I left Oasis, and uh, yeah, this is where I am now. You know what I mean? And yeah. But then again, it could only be a phase. I don't know. I I don't really have a plan for what I'm going to do next year. I think if I put music out next year, it, it it could be completely different again. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So, but is it true that you think a collaboration for the next year album with Damon Albarn? Well, he was going to play on my last record, and uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully he'll get around to doing something. Yeah. Okay, because it's strange, you know. I mean, when I think, uh, when, when I close my eyes and I uh, try to imagine you and Damon Albarn maybe on the same stage, uh, you know, for the old stories about Oasis yeah, and well, Blur, gonna, we've, I it's mean, fucking wow, well, interesting. Yeah, well, I've, I've, I've played with the Gorillas, and I've been, I've done some gigs with the Gorillas, yeah. and uh, yeah, we're kind of friends. It's a wonderful thing. Because <laughs> you have some friends together, the same friends. Uh, we have some mutual friends, and uh, yes, I I know quite a few of his band, uh, the Gorillas band, that are kind of friends of mine. And um, yeah, we've got a lot of mutual friends, and uh, everything is cool. All everything right. is fine. That's right. I think. Mm, I Thank you for the time you give us. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> it's a job, you think. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is a job, but it's a fucking good job. Yeah, it's a fucking uh, good job. Yeah. Thank you very much, Thank Noel. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Noel Gallagher, microfoni di Area 101.